Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about slippage in Microsoft Project 2013. So it is defined as the difference between the baselining and the actual duration of the project. Let's say that if we change the percent complete in our project, the next successive task slips to the next working days. So the slippage can be easily viewed in the GAN chart and it is usually represented as a dotted line in my GAN chart. We will have a better understanding about slippage in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn about slippage in Microsoft Project 2013. So let me tell you where I can find this particular constraint. For that, I have to move to the format tab and under the format tab I can see something called as slippage. Now if I take my mouse to this particular icon it says something. It shows a line representing how tasks have slipped in the project compared to the selected baseline. Now let us try to understand this practically. Now for that I have to go to a particular task and I have to change the person complete column. So I will move to the task which says development strategy that is task ID 7 and I will try to manipulate the person complete. So out here it is seen as 50%. So far my project is running smoothly. There are no errors. So out here let me change this to 30%. Alright, so I hit 30%. I type 30% and the moment I hit enter, you can see there is some changes in my screen. Now if you move on the right hand side of my GAN chart, out there I can find a slippage. Also, if you have noticed, the duration of my project cycle has changed. Previously, let me do undo this. Previously, it was 24.25. Now, when I apply this changes, now it has converted into 24.75 days. Now, let me show you on the GAN chart as well where I can see this particular slippage. So, in order to see that, I have to first right click on the GAN chart go to show and hide bar style I'll move to baseline and first I'll unselect this all right now you can see the slippage has been uh, shown by the dotted lines out here as we can see right all also one thing I want to share you I will again right click on this uh, GAN chart I'll go to show hide and bar style and under that I will move to slippage so in slippage let's select this first particular baseline the moment I click out here can you see there is a slippage which has right now it cannot see so let me zoom a bit alright so now you can see the changes now this particular task this critical task that is defined performance has shifted from its original duration by the difference alright so basically slippage helps me helps or it make the particular task slip to the next working day and it shows me by this uh, line out here. Alright guys, so this was all about slippage. 